It's the only school of its kind anywhere. Instead of math, science, and history, the subjects include Batman, Superman, capes, costumes, and soaring skylines. The Joe Kubert School of Cartoon and Graphic Art is a fully accredited institution in Dover, New Jersey. The man who founded the school, comic book legend Joe Kubert. When I started out, I got all my information from guys who were already in the business, and they were very, very helpful, the nicest guys in the world, and still are. And I felt that if I could have one place, if I could put together one place where all the students who wanted to learn this stuff could come to, it might be a good thing, and that's what kicked it off. When it opened 28 years ago, it had just 22 students, now 150 attend classes. Students who proudly display their creativity in unusual places. And have you figured out how many pages you want on that? It's normally about 150 pages. Students at the Kubert School don't just learn how to draw men in tights. The school's curriculum teaches students how to be cartoonists who can work in any graphic arts medium. Classes cover everything from basic drawing and layouts to coloring techniques, animation, art, and computer graphics. All the lessons aim to teach the art of telling a story. It starts off with knowing how to draw well first. Beyond that, it's knowing how to tell a story with those good drawings. Over the years, the school has sent dozens of students on to successful careers in comic books, computer animation, even advertising. Those students include Andy and Adam Hubert, who followed in their dad's artistic footsteps and now draw some of the most popular titles for industry leader Marvel Comics. Like any proud dad, Joe Kubert couldn't be happier. They came here, and I'm very, very proud of them. They worked like dogs. They did beautiful work. At the end of the school day, it's still back to the drawing board for this comics icon. Despite a career spanning five decades, Kubert still works on new projects every day. Everything from a 1930s crime thriller to graphic novels featuring classic characters like Tor and Sergeant Rock, always looking for a new way to tell another story. The cartoonist essentially is a storyteller. He's a communicator. He uses his pictures just like a writer uses words.